Darwin, the capital of the Northern Territory here in Australia. Rock burger. <laughs> Wow, it does not get much better than this. Good morning guys from Darwin, the capital of the Northern Territory here in Australia. I cannot believe we are saying that we actually made it down under from Ho Chi Minh and were invited by the Northern Territory to spend the next seven days exploring the beautiful landscapes, cultures and foods. We already got right involved with the foods. Yesterday we actually arrived and had a day to spend in the capital Darwin which is such a good base for exploring the Northern Territory. We have been chilling out at the Mindal Beach Resort and it is just beautiful. The perfect way to relax and chill out before starting our seven day trip. We are literally looking out at the Timor Sea right now. I think that shows what a melting pot of cultures Darwin really is. It is the gateway to Southeast Asia and you can definitely tell that by the weather. It is beautifully sunny and beautifully hot. Good morning. Good morning. I should probably give you a really quick room tour of the Mindal Beach Resort. I'm actually standing on our balcony, which has an amazing sea view. So huge balcony, and then the aircon is super cold because it's so warm outside. So when you come in, we have a lovely cold room, big double bed, storage, huge bathroom, which is actually, you can see through here, a little peephole. Um, on me. But yesterday was great, a great way to ease ourselves in. Uh, we went and watched sunset. We've come down to Mindal Beach to watch the sunset. As you can see, it is unbelievable, so pink, and they actually do the funniest thing. When the sun has completely gone down, everyone claps. So we're waiting. We're, we're, we're just hoping, waiting. <laughs> we're hoping tonight is gonna be a clap night. Did you wanna start it? No, because what if no make, one does it? Have a go. <laughs> no <laughs> We also went to the Mindel Street Food Market, which is actually, I think, only on, on a Thursday and Sunday, right? Yeah. Um, so we were super lucky to see that, and we tried some interesting foods. Hello. Hello. Can I have a crocodile burger, please? Yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> Croc burger. I was gonna take my time doing this, but I've thrown myself straight into the deep end, literally, and we are trying a crocodile burger here at the Roadkill Cafe. It is an actual roadkill. I think it is a play <laughs> on words, but we have the damp now, which is the traditional sort of outback bun to go with it. I don't even know how this is gonna taste. I think it's a saltwater croc, so. There it goes. It smells quite good. Don't sniff it. I like it. No, really? Mm -hmm. It just tastes like a chicken burger. Like, it's soft. You can see the meat, white like chicken. If you gave me that, I would not know that's crocodile. I'm now taking myself out of the deep end and actually trying um, a Malaysian dish that's been adopted here in Darwin. It's kind of like an egg noodle soup type thing with coconut milk. They actually have competitions, uh, which is it's apparently super competitive. Yeah, like, uh, what the hell? That's festival crazy. for some soup. But honestly, I don't I don't even know where to start with this. It's absolutely so hot. Oh my god. But no. Oh my god. If you could see that right now, look. It is so hot. Oh no. No. Whoa. That is so so creamy. It's really sweet. It's almost like a um it kind of tastes, I don't even know how I would describe it, like a Thai green curry kind of mixed with like really sweet coconut milk and then you've just got like egg noodles which is kind of crazy. Is it good enough to warrant a festival? Possibly. We're actually getting picked up in around 10 minutes so we're going to quickly pack up and then we're heading to the Outback. I'm so excited. This is our little beauty that is gonna be taking us around for the next few days. We have actually just arrived at the top end safari camp, which I am so excited for. And we're on red, the red ground. It's only an hour away from Darwin. We have loads of activities to do today. From the car straight to a very cool looking bus. I love this. We literally arrived, jumped straight on the coolest looking bus ever. They ask us, what drink do you want? What beer do you want? And we are jumping it straight on to an airboat. Oh my God, these are so cool. It's just us four on this boat. They are loud. I think we have to wear headphones. It is really loud. I can't hear anything. What? But I, I can't hear a word you're saying. But I am ready. Um, 
cut them in the midst like that and then deep fry them and use them as chips and all that sort of stuff. Eating a yeah. lily. <laughs> Tastes like celery. Very strange. <laughs> I can hear that was so much fun. We actually only saw one small freshwater croc. I think because it rained a little bit overnight, a lot of the crocodiles have gone onto land. But supposedly here is the third most concentrated body of water in the world for the saltwater ones, which are the big ones, which are the most fun ones. But we are now swapping boats to the bigger boat. I think I can hear on. This is crazy and so fast paced I absolutely love it so now we're on this like big boat on the hunt and we have like other activities as well at the safari camp and it's also like a glamping place so that's where we're going to be checking into later but honestly I don't think we could have uh, expected this at all like this is it's pretty it's insane. straight at you I'm praying that this time on this boat we see a salt water yeah but I suppose that's the beauty yeah. of nature right you're not guaranteed to see it but I'm keeping my fingers crossed Fish. Hopefully it's better than my other attempts. Um, I don't know, even know what I'm trying to catch, but my line is going and it yeah, is off. What's the most common fish? Yeah. Barramunga. Barramundi. Mama Barramundi. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the noisiest things ever but I think we are 100% guaranteed to see the crocs now as they are in some sort of captivity so uh, if we don't it's time to panic so all of these crocodiles that are in sort of like little pens are actually uh, rescues from crocodile farms a lot of them have broken parts of their tails where they were like um, chipped a bit like how they chip a cow's ear and um, so basically they just like get them out feed them they are massive they are huge they like, are so quick absolutely as well. huge so quick i'm glad that i am behind a pen some of them are also put in here look at this one here oh my god you probably can't see him but he's just completely camouflaged yeah some of them are actually put in here if they're naughty basically <laughs> this is like a crocodile prison one of them at the beginning actually snuck on to a farm and killed 14 other crocodiles um some of the others are just a bit of a nuisance in society so they end up going into like swimming pools swimming holes the beaches things like that so they end up in here so they're safely removed you can just relax and just chill out but you should see how quickly they come out they are yeah, you wouldn't want to go near them. So that noise you can hear, we're actually going on that in about 15 minutes. Uh, sitting by the pool right now. I'm getting picked up by a helicopter. What life are we living? Our very first time in a helicopter. I am so excited. I don't think I can contain myself. It's so noisy. Unbelievable. From up there we saw two monster, monster crocs going along one of the channels. We even see a kangaroo, water buffalo, and you can just see how vast the area is here. We're now getting in the pool. was 
honestly one of the craziest experiences ever. I don't know what I expected, but it certainly like wasn't that. That was amazing. I loved it. I don't even think I could speak. Like my mouth was just on the and floor we to see so the whole much time. Wildlife. So much wildlife, and I like it's scary because of how low you are. But it is so so much fun. But now look at me. I'm sat in a pool, and I can watch the helicopters land and take off. This is how you do it. Wow, it does not get much better than this. The helicopter rides have just finished and the sun is setting over the outback. Look at this, the pool is absolutely full. It's so good to see so many people traveling, enjoying such unique experiences here in the Northern Territory. But as soon as that sun sets, I'm getting out of the pool and we are having dinner. I am starving. I mean, wow, maybe we, uh, we just skipped dinner. <laughs> Look, that, Stay that in the sunset. pool. That is, that is outrageous. It is pure golden hour right now. <laughs> Good morning, guys. From the outback, we had the most amazing sunset last night and then had a barbecue dinner, sat by the fire and just watched the stars. I'm very croaky this morning, as you can tell. The sun is now just rising behind me and I didn't actually get to show you what we stayed in. We stayed in these amazing glamping tents. Again, just in the middle of the outback. It was so peaceful. All you could hear was animals in the distance, birds chirping, insects creaking, croaking, whatever insects do. Um, but yeah, we need to show you around where we stayed then have some breakfast here at Top End Safari Camp. What an experience. It literally has the full outback experience. If you only have a few days in the Northern Territory, I'd highly recommend doing this. It's run by a somewhat TV personality here in Australia, and they've done it just so well. Morning. Good morning. It feels very strange to be up this early because the sun's rising, but in reality, it's actually not that early. It's like half seven, um, but so peaceful and so cool. Let me give you a, I don't even, I can't call it a room tour. Let me give you a glamping tent tour. So we have a huge decking area with our chairs. We actually have um, an outdoor shower. Should we check it? We haven't even checked it yet. No. Oh my this God, don't bad. tell people we haven't showered, Matt. It's terrible, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, it's a big old space. You now that isn't is it? the full outback shower. That's pretty cool. And then, oh no, no. How am I going to be able to shut it? And then, let's actually check the tent out. Are you going to be able to make it in all right? Yeah, you might have to hold it open for me. Ready? Ready. I always think these are like TARDISes because when you come in, they're always like so different. Like the decor is amazing. So we have a clothes rail currently drying our bikinis from yesterday. Um, a huge bed, which was super comfortable. Loads of chairs. I love the decor as well. You even get a fan that comes with a light. You get a torch. A torch, that's um, fun if you need a wee in the night. Yeah, a torch is kind of crazy. Uh, but I just love the decor in these. I feel like they're really cozy and homely, but I am really, really hungry. This is crazy. This tent has an ant hill. I think that's what they're called. Look at it, compared to me. Look at the size of it. That is insane. Cheers. Cheers. To have breakfast. Absolutely perfect. And we actually just spotted some wallabies, which was so exciting. For us, it's like so crazy to just be sat down everyone, everyone waiting for breakfast. Just like, yeah, there's some wallabies over there. Like, <laughs> we're like running and having a look at them, but we're just waiting for our breakfast now. I am very, 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 very hungry. This looks so good. What a lovely breakfast. I wasn't expecting avocado, hash browns, bacon, eggs in the outback, but that is our first two days here in the Northern Territory, exploring Darwin, trying some very unique foods, and then heading here to Top End Safari Camp. Like I said before, this place is like the all-in-one outback experience. If you want a quick Northern Territory experience and don't have many days, come here. We've done a heli ride. We've gone on an airboat. We've seen crocodiles. We've seen some, I think, kangaroos, some pigs, 
the lot. So much more left to see and do here in the Northern Territory during our one week trip. So stay tuned for more adventures in the Outback.